Yum, yum! One of my favorite features in Modeler has always been symmetry, found right here on the bottom edge of the Modeler interface. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. And what it allows me to do is work on half of the object, the, object, the, the part of the object that's in the positive x, and the portion of the object that is in the negative x will be updated. So if I come over to Modify, Dragnet, and I'm just going to right click to set my fall off and I'm just going to manipulate the geometry. And as you can see, as I translate the geometry in the positive X, the, the geometry on the other side uh, is updated as well. So the trick with that is, is that this object needs to be a symmetrical object. And if you start your object off uh, symmetrically, you can pretty much stay uh, symmetric. But sometimes what happens is, is that uh, you you turn symmetry off to perform certain um, operations in Modeler and then and you forget to turn it back on or some tool uh, might break symmetry. It's very common to, to break symmetry from time to time and uh, you, you need to go and fix that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn symmetry off and let's say we accidentally turned our model into something like this. It looks like she, uh, she got beat up a little bit. Okay, and I want to get this side back to looking just like this side so it can be symmetrical. Because right now it's not symmetrical. If I use symmetry, uh, portions of this are symmetrical and it would work. And then the, the parts that aren't, well, they wouldn't update properly. Okay, so what I'm going to do is hit zero on the numeric keypad so I can go to four windows. And what I want to do is I want to get rid of the half that I don't like. So I'm going to hit zero and come into this view, zoom in. And let me right mouse and drag to do my lasso selection. And I like to zoom in really close and just make sure that I don't have any polygons selected that I don't want. Even if I think I did a good job, I still always zoom in and just check it. Okay, so because I'm working at the origin to take advantage of, of the symmetry feature, I can um, go ahead and well now what I could do is I could delete this and then use the mirror option. But the problem with that is if I zoom in here, we'll see that there are points on the center line that are not on the center line. They should be, this, all of the points here should be on the center line so that when I mirror over, I can go ahead and close that gap. These will produce gaps, which I definitely don't want. Okay, so a trick that I've used for years that, uh, that has always worked for me is to force all this geometry on the center line and because the points that make up this geometry are also on the center line, they're, they're part of this geometry, it'll force those points right on the, the uh, you know, right on the center line. So what I'm going to do is hit V for set value and on the x-axis I want it at zero and it forces all that geometry onto the x at zero. I can hit delete, shift V for mirror, N for numeric, and I'll just use all these, um, all these default settings across the X, zero, and I'm good to go. Uh, and now I can go back to symmetry, and let's um, go back to modify, dragnet, and we're back to where we need to be. So that works out really great, and it's worked for me for years. But what if your object, I'm gonna just come over to layer three, where I've prepped the same distorted face, except this time it's not sitting at the origin, okay? And I want to be able to mirror over the good side, what I think is the good side, uh, to replace the, the bad side. But the problem is, is that uh, I don't want to try and fight the with the mirror tool, especially at this angle. Getting the mirror tool to work at this angle would be um, quite a challenge. I actually don't think I'm up for that challenge, especially when there's there's a faster way to work. Now you might ask yourself, well, okay, William, why uh, why would you ever be in this situation? Why would you know? Why would you have geometry that's not on the center line or not in a, a way that you could mirror it easily? So what I did was I loaded up a I preloaded an object to give you an example of where that might be. Well, these canisters on the back here, they're they're not lined up to any given axis. The um, these little side things on the legs, 
Well, they're not lined up either. There's a lot of different components on, on this character that don't run down the X, Y, or Z. Uh, and if I were to break symmetry over here and I needed to fix it over here, well, I, I would need to have some kind of solution. And one solution is to temporarily move it into uh, to the origin or you know to to an axis, uh, but that's that's not um, that's not the most ideal setup. It could it could take a lot of work to move, rotate, and get, and then try and remember the values to to put it back to where you, to where you need it. So let's take a look at a, a quick little tip that uh, might just help you out in this case. So let's use this as an example. Um, we uh, we really need to find a way to, to be able to mirror right along the, the center line here. In Lightwave 11, we got a feature that is in Modify, Align, Align to Plane, which allows you to select some geometry and it will temporarily line this up at the origin, which is, which is really handy. The problem is, is that I can't think of a polygon, a point or an edge that I could select that would, would give me what I need for this case. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll make a temporary polygon that will, will get me there. So I'm just gonna select the point here on my center line. Uh, say come down here, select the point on my center line, come to the back, look down my center line, select the point, and I'll select another point, okay? And with those four points selected, I'll hit P for make polygon. And there's actually a polygon in the center of the head right there and with that selected I'm going to go to modify align align to plane and in the perspective window it's kind of hard to see what happens so I'm going to go out of the perspective window and we can see it's forced the geometry to the origin now this is just temporary but it's it's there long enough for us to do our work so I can see that in the positive Y is the side that I want. And I want to get rid of this uh, on bottom. And I also want to force these points that should be on the center line there. So I'm going to use the old technique of just selecting that geometry. I'm deselecting the extra geometry that I actually need for the side that I want to keep, like so. And uh, it's, it's also good to take note, I'm deleting, I also have the, um, the polygon that I use, that temporary polygon, that's still selected, okay? V for set value, Y, okay. It forced everything in the Y. It doesn't matter that I'm not working across the X in this case, I just need to be able to, to, to mirror this thing. So I'm gonna hit delete, shift V for mirror, in for numeric, let's choose the Y axis, there we go. So everything's good to go, except my head is not where it, it, it needs to be. So I need to come back over to Modify, Align, and just below Align to Plane is Restore Align. And it puts my geometry right back where it needs to be. Okay, right where it was when I, when I got going, except now I've got my symmetrical object and I don't have the busted up side of the face anymore, okay? So just a real quick tip for, uh, for fixing symmetry if you're not working uh, you know, across the X or down Z or, or Y and you're at a weird angle and you're having trouble using the mirror tool, this could be a quick solution for getting back to where you need to be. Yum, yum.